This video is for topic 6.7, bond enthalpies. The objective for this topic is to calculate the enthalpy change of a reaction based on the average bond energies of the bonds broken and the bonds formed in the reaction. So in this objective or in this topic, we're gonna look at the specific amounts of energy for each type of different bonds. Now in our class textbook, um, the table that we're gonna use can be, it's table 8.8. .8. Um, which gives you average bond association enthalpies in kilojoules per mole for different bonds. Um, and so the single bond table, you find um, one of the elements across the top and you find the partner element across the side. And then where those two parts intersect is the energy of that single bond. And then there's some selected multiple bonds given below. When we calculate the um, enthalpy of reaction, we're gonna look at the sum of the bonds that are broken minus the sum of the bonds formed. So we're gonna look at how much energy is involved in breaking all of the bonds, and then how much energy is involved in forming all of the bonds. And you always do broken minus formed. Our first example is going to look at propene uh, reacting with hydrogen gas to form propane. So there's two ways that you can think about this question. Um, you can think about breaking every single bond in your reactants and then reforming every single bond in your products. Or you can look at just the bonds that are different, which is highlighted in the images on the bottom. So the differences between propene and propane is that um, you break a carbon-carbon double bond and you break a hydrogen-hydrogen single bond and then you form a carbon-carbon single bond and two carbon-hydrogen single bonds. So for the purposes of time and just general tediousness, we're gonna focus only on those, only on the ones that don't change um, because the rest of the bonds are gonna stay the same. You should get the same answer even if you break all of the bonds and then form all of the bonds um, and you do the calculation that way. So when we look at this question. So our standard enthalpy of reaction, we're going to add up all of the bonds that we break. So we break um, a carbon-carbon bond and we break a hydrogen-hydrogen bond. And then we're going to look at all of the bonds that we form. So we form a carbon-carbon single bond and we form two carbon-hydrogen single bonds. And it's always broken minus formed. So then I would use the table shown on the previous slide, or if you have your textbook, you can reference it um, in your textbook, uh, these are not values that you'd have to have memorized. Um, these are values that you would be given. Um, so then it's just plugging them in. So the energy of a carbon-carbon double bond is 610. A hydrogen single bond is 436. Carbon-carbon um, single is 346. And then a carbon-hydrogen single bond is 413. So when you plug those in and find the difference, you end up with negative 126 kilojoules per mole of reaction, which means that this is an exothermic reaction.